were you. Um, I just would make one comment about Osama bin Laden. Uh, it's vital we get Osama bin Laden. I'll get him as President of the United States, and he continues to motivate and be a symbol to all those forces of evil that are arrayed against us and want to destroy us. It is vital that we get Osama bin Laden. I'll get him. And anyone who believes that he's simply a symbol, I think, as a wrong assessment of the influence and impact on behalf of the evil of Al-Qaeda is mistaken. Senator, how important is the Petraeus report? I think the Petraeus report is very important. It's and the White House report, Senator. It's not the Petraeus report. It's the White House report. You know, one of the things I wanted to say is that I'm very happy that we will be having a large number of Iraqi war veterans who are in support, who have fought over there and sacrificed, who will be supporting our effort to continue this strategy. And there will be hundreds of them and many of them who support the war who have actually fought over there who will, I hope, have an effect on American public opinion as well. They want to come home, Senator. They want Is to there come anything home. That, uh, the military in Iraq? I think that we can see a scenario in months ahead where we could redeploy and bring troops home, but it's got to be directly related to the situation on the ground. Senator, does the president have authorization to attack Iran? I think it depends on what uh, kind of attack you're talking about, whether it be uh, a covert activity. Those have been authorized in other conditions in the past, but I can't answer that question because I don't know what the thinking is in the, in the White House on this issue. Diplomacy over and militarism, the, uh, Senator! And, you know, and, as, and as you know, uh, rudeness uh, sometimes characterizes people's behavior, and we simply ignore that. Yeah. How do you feel now about where you're standing? I feel like there's going to be ups and downs in this campaign, and we will have some successes and we will have some failures. And there are a lot of good people running, and so I know that we've got to run hard and take nothing for granted. We okay. in Arizona want you to resign. Do you think Republicans can begin voting with Democrats on the I believe that. If we make the argument that we will continue to allow this new strategy to succeed, which is succeeding, and obviously we need progress from the Maliki government and the police and other areas, but in a short period of time we have seen significant success. No, we have. Okay. Is there anything else you? Yes, sir. Mohammed Al Barad, the head of the IAEA, has warned about raising this word that are beating the war drums for war with Iran. There have been reports that the administration is planning a massive bombing campaign, not an invasion, a massive bombing campaign in Iran. And Al Maradai, of course, was correct in his assessment on the lead up to Iraq, basically the box of its mass destruction capacity, all by getting this way. I have heard. Have you really had a national dialogue about the prospect of a massive bombing campaign that Sir, I have heard no discussion of a massive campaign of any kind, so I can't comment because I have not heard of any. And I'm and I'm and I'm pretty well briefed on these things. So doesn't that speak to the lack of dialogue? I mean, there are, there are massive reports coming out of these. Sir, I I don't. And how paradise. I haven't I haven't heard those reports, sir. So there's no way I can comment on them. Does it concern you that Al Baradai, who was right on Iraq, is warning about another chronic campaign on Iran here? Sir, I cannot comment on things that I have not been briefed on or informed of. I agree that Iran is a great threat. And I agree that the Iranians are sending the most explosive and dangerous weapons into Iraq and killing American soldiers. I agree that the president of Iran said that they were dedicated to the extinction of the state of Israel. And I agree that they are trying to spread uh, their brand of radical Islamic extremism throughout the region, as the president of Iran said. So obviously we have to take those things into consideration. But I have no knowledge of any plans for a massive bombing campaign or anything else. And until I do, then I can't comment. Thanks very much. Well, you better get to your office because we're hearing that. And Arizona wants you to resign, Jen Papakane. You're so completely out of touch with reality. 
We want you to resign. Resign. We have all the fabulous golf courses in our Oh, God, God is insane. Resign. God is insane. Oh, John John McCain. Why bother generation if you get the abomination? John John McCain. Let's work out diplomacy, John McCain. Remember what it was like when you were in isolation? What about your vote on torture? Is that really sticking up for our military, sir? I just don't think so. I really don't think so. And I'm from 